Hey everybody, this is Captain Obvious, and welcome back for another Redstone tutorial. Uh, what I have for you today is what I'm going to call Chicken Invader, and it's kind of a, a play on Space Invader, and it is a multiplayer game, and you can actually make this as big as you want. I just decided to do three so I wouldn't go, you know, a little crazy with, uh, with all the Redstone. Uh, but anyway, this is how you do it, okay? So you, you flick the switch. It'll randomly start dropping down chickens, and then you would press the button, which they're on a delay. Obviously, you'd be in your own lane, and it would shoot up uh, fire charges. And, you know, you go in a certain time. You could put a little timer next to it or something, and then whoever gets the most chickens wins. That's, that's basically it. So you turn off the machine, and then at the end, you would just uh, add up. The, you can either go by feathers. You can go by chickens whatever you want to do now there's also you can there's a lot of leeway with this there's a lot of different settings you can make it taller to make it a little easier you can also adjust the delay because right now I have it on a four tick delay for like I don't know 11 repeaters or something 10 repeaters so you press it and watch watch the delay see it's it takes a while so you could just use redstone if you want to make it easier you could shorten this up uh, you could also okay you could also put a um, another one of these right here, so right over where that uh, hopper is, and then you could just break these and actually let the chickens go. So that way you wouldn't be able to um, kill the same chicken. Like once you miss them, you know what I mean. Like once they fall, that's it. Oh wait, it's, they still can't get out. Well, whatever. <laughs> You'd have to put it over the last thing of water. Not over, not over this one. That's right. But anyway, let me just kill this real quick. Okay, we'll just kill these guys real fast. Um. Also, this has to be built in creative because you're using the uh, you're using the eggs, the spawn eggs, obviously. Because if you just drop the eggs down, then they're not going to hatch until they get to down here. So. That's kind of pointless. Although I guess you could just move everything back, hatch them up there, and have them fall down. Uh, that you could definitely do. So that I guess that's an option for you guys. But this is meant for like a mini game world. Okay, so let's get into everything you're going to need. Uh, I feel like I missed something. There we go. Okay, so I'm not going to show you how to do the sign. Uh, just watch Magma Musin. He he basically goes over how to build this particular style. I was horrible with that, so yeah, I'm not gonna build all of that. Oh crap! I knew I picked that stuff up. Okay, and here's the redstone behind it. I think I, I could have made it. Not I think I could have made it a lot more compact, but I just figured I'd space it out, uh, just so you guys can kind of understand it. You know, if you wanna, those of you that are really good at redstone, if you wanna make it better, go for it. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. So let's get a lane going. All right, so let's take our quartz stairs. I'm just, I'm just going to use quartz, obviously. And I'm also going to build it a little higher. So one, two, three, four. Actually, no, I'm not going to build it higher because it is. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We're going to go seven high. Okay. And actually make the bottom one quartz or just a regular block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and do the same thing. And I'm just gonna do two rows for now. It's I'll show you how to make more, but just for the purposes of the tutorial, it's just easier to do two. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out. Come out however you want, however many you want. I did eleven. Okay, so that would be uh one right there, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven okay so you're going to come out like that and these are just obviously making your lanes okay we'll get the, some of the cosmetics out of the way beautiful and then you just go ahead and you can put any glass color you want i just figured um you're not going to be able to do the glass of the same row because obviously there's 
Uh, there's only two colors, but there's three rows, if that makes sense to you guys. So uh, I just went ahead and did white, you know, whatever. Do whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to break this two down. So one, two, one, two. You guys get the point. Okay, so you break it all the way to here. So inside where this is, that's where you go. Okay, so you're going to go two, just like that. Beautiful. So let's make it a little faster. Let's make it an easier game. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll do six redstone, and then we'll put it on, we'll put one, two, three, four, on each of them on two tick delay. Okay, or you could just do, just break it, and just do um, two on full delay. That way you save some, uh, there you go, that way you save some uh, repeaters. Okay, perfect. Now go ahead and get whatever floor block you want. Uh, oh, here's everything you're going to need. I'm sorry. I completely forgot to tell you guys that. Uh, why do I have yellow wool? I, don't, I never even use that. You don't need yellow wool. Okay, so you're going to need a, a bucket of water for each lane. Uh, a redstone, well, redstone torches. I didn't count. Uh, redstone lamps. Again, that goes with however many lanes you have. One per lane. One comparator per lane, I believe. Uh, just, let me just think real quick. It's one comparator per lane, and then an extra one for the actual uh, unit itself. So that's, yeah, so you need, w yeah, so for this one, we're going to use three. You're going to need a non-stackable -stack item, and then one, two, three stackable items, different ones, not the same one. So I'm going to use red wool, uh, chest, and gray wool. So there's four items. Then this just makes it a 25% chance. Obviously, you can add more non-stackables uh, to make it uh, less of a chance for the, for the chickens to come out. Or you could just do one and one to make it 50% chance. It's completely up to you. Okay? Then you're going to need uh, one hopper per row. You're going to need two dispensers per row. You're going to need, uh, let me just see how many droppers real quick. One dropper. Should just be one dropper. One button per row. And one lever overall. And then you're going to need, obviously, some stairs. Well, this is just trim. Some stairs, the different color stained glass, per one per row. So Some bl building blocks. Like you saw here, the light gray. I said white, but it's light gray. Uh, a ton of repeaters, a ton of redstone, and some slabs. Okay, that's it. That's all you guys need. And I'm going to do a floor here. I'll tell you what. I'm going to make the floor match. I didn't do that before, but I'm going to make the floor match. So we're going to do red here. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and get some orange. There we go. And we'll do some orange roll here. Perfect. Okay, now you can go ahead and place your buttons right on the end. And now you can get rid of those because they're not needed anymore. Okay, now we're going to take our dispensers. And right after this row right here, we're going to put a dispenser facing up. And same thing there, dispenser facing up. Now just go ahead and fill this in with whatever you want. Doesn't matter, whatever it is. Okay, all the way up. And then here as well. So you're just going to encase it. Perfect. And then what I went ahead and did was just like this. Now we're going to end up getting rid of this later, but it's just to kind of keep track of everything. And then make sure you, what you're going to do, oops, sorry, this and this have to be full f just for a second. Okay, and then we're going to put a dispenser facing down on that top one. So it's kind of popping up like that. Okay, just like so. Beautiful. All right, we don't need the dispensers anymore. Now we're going to go ahead and take the two colors. All right, so we got red and orange. So let's do it. Let's do it the first way I did it. So skip the bottom one and just go like this. Rather than having the chickens come out. It gets a little messy. Okay, then you go all the way up. Perfect. You don't need those anymore. Now we're just going to take our water buckets. Put one there. And one there as well. 
Or you could save that for the end because you still have to fill those up with fire chargers. So that's entirely up to you. Okay, let's put that back. Then we're going to take our hopper and our chest. And then what we're going to do is right where the water ends. Okay, you're going to break that. Face it into the block in front. Just like that. And then put a chest right here. Perfect. Okay, so far so good. Okay, now what we're going to do real fast is just come out over here. Or right next to these, sorry. Right next to it, just build a row all the way up. Yeah, go up to the top. And then in front of it as well. This just makes it look nicer. Okay, so up like that. And right there. Okay, then what we're going to do right here is we're going to put whoops, this going all the way across. Okay, upside down. You guys know I love that. Oh, shit. Okay, and then we're going to take our redstone lamps. And right above, as you can see right here, here's the red. We're going to put it right there and right there. Okay, and then you could just fill, fill in the rest with a regular block, like so. Okay, cool. So now let's work on the redstone back here. And how much out did I come out? So I came out, it was one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so we gotta come out nine. Three, okay. Uh, four, five, six, seven, whoops, eight, and nine. Perfect. And then let's go let's just go ahead and fill the border in around here. Again, you you don't need to. I mean it's a mini game. You might even be able to build some pixel art around this whole thing to kind of hide this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now what I want you to do is right here. Put one more half slab. Okay, just like that. You're going to go ahead and you're going to put redstone dust there. Okay, put a block on top of this. Just like that. And then you're going to come out one, two, three. And you're going to put, uh, oh, I'm sorry, this one you can put, this only this one right here. Okay, so you're going to put, uh, we put a thing behind it, right? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to put a repeater there. So you're going to come out one more, sorry. Okay, so you're going to have four coming out. And then you're going to go one, two, three. Oh, I'm sorry, not this one. One, two, three. And then this one, make it a whole block. You'll see why in a little bit. And put three on top, just like that. Okay, then one more. And you're going to put a comparator. Okay, just like so. Now, behind that comparator, underneath, you're going to put a dropper. Let me just get rid of that. Okay, the dropper is going to be facing up. Yeah. Just like that. Break that. Just like that. Okay, dropper there. And then facing down into the dropper, we're going to put a hopper. Okay, just like that. Cool. And then behind these um, droppers, we're going to put a block up like that. And then we're going to drop this block and this block and all of these. We're going to drop them down up to, yeah, up to here. See where this wall is right here? Up to this wall. So right where this uh, first dispenser is, up to there. Okay, so we're going to drop it down so we can build on it. You can use a whole block if you want. I'm just going to use a top. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use a top slab. So just come over twice there. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, and then the, re the reason for that is... Okay, so let me just... The signal is going to come from this way. So you have to f put a, a um, repeater facing into this block. Put a piece of redstone dust there. Put a block there, put a comparator 
there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do two hoppers facing into each other. Okay, just like so. You're going to put some redstone dust on top. And you're going to notice the signals touch. That's okay. For now, put a block there. Put some redstone dust there. And then just go ahead and put a block on all three of those. Okay, so that way it cuts off the signal. And that's why we raised this one. All right, and then you're going to put a um, redstone some redstone dust there. Okay, so that's this right here. Come underneath it, make sure that's a whole block. Okay, so this one right here has to be a whole block. And then we're going to go, we're going to skip a space, put a block, skip a space, put a block, skip a space, put a block. And that's where our torches are going to go. Okay, so you're going to put one torch there, one torch there, and one torch there. Perfect. So far, so good, guys. How do I fix that real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. All right, so then what we're going to do, you're going to put a uh, piece of redstone dust there. Okay? With, oh, I'm sorry, break this first. Let's just break these two as well. Okay, break it like that. And this one's going to be two. So I don't know if you can see that. So where that torch is on the block, there's a piece of redstone dust. Then you're going to break one block down, two over, so one down and two. And then on the third one, you're going to put another, you're going to go another, uh, another one down. So this whole thing right here is going to be two down. Just like we did for in there. And you're going to have it come out one more, like that. Okay, so then you're just going to run some redstone dust all along there. And then this one right here is going to be a repeater. Okay, so it should be a repeater. Red sun behind it. Then the next level down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now what we could do is just come back, fill in uh, the whole ground. All right, and just put a block there. You don't have to, but well, just hide it. Okay, and then... So our lever is going to go right here. Okay, and this is going to activate the whole game. Or you could face it however you want to face it. Okay. Cool. Now let's go put everything that we're supposed to. All right, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to break this block right here with this back. See how there's two of them? With the, with the back hopper. And I'm just going to put an item in there. So let's just put some redstone dust. Okay, you'll notice that it's it's on because of that. So the system's locked, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so now when we turn it off, that's just going to bounce back and forth, which is just going to keep activating this um, comparator, which is going to keep give powering these. And these, these are going to be our randomizers. So every time they're powered, they have a 25% chance of activating this dispenser here. Okay? And every time the dispenser is activated, obviously the light goes off with it, so you know where they're coming from. All right, so now we're just going to go in and fill these dispensers, um, these droppers, sorry. Okay, so this is the dropper that's going to have a non-stackable item and then three different stackable items. Okay, so I'll do the same thing here. I just suggest you use wo um, a wooden sword. just makes it easier, so... It's the cheapest thing in the game. Okay, so you're going to use w just any non-stackable, and then one, two, three stackable items. Okay, there you go. So now that's set. And then obviously in these two right here, these are where the chickens are going to be. So let's just fill them up with chickens. Perfect. Okay, come over here. Now, to play it again, you will obviously have to come up here and refill the chickens. So that is the only drawback. I mean, once you like run out. Okay, there you go. And then on the bottom ones, you fill those up with fire charges. So go like that. There we go. Same thing over here. Where is it? There we go. Fire charges. Okay, now, if you did want to do this in... in um, if you did want to do this in um 
in uh, oh my god what is it called not creative <laughs> if you did want to do it if you didn't want to do it in creative but you wanted to do it in regular game which i can't think of right now my brain is fried um all you'd have to do is f figure out a way to get um the chickens to actually fall in there so that would be really really tricky like really really tricky so you might have to push everything back possibly get rid of the light or not even get rid of the light but you'd have to have it like over like that so let's say you push this back five then you would just have to you know right where this goes into here you would just have to carry this signal over and then what you could do is instead of having the dispenser facing down that would be a hole so you'd have the dispenser facing like this hold on uh, here's a dispenser okay so the dispenser would be facing like this so everything would be the same just further back okay and uh you'd have you'd have to have it like a block in front oops like this okay so it goes over the hole so let's say this is the hole right here so obviously this would be over here and then it would just shoot eggs and obviously just you have to encase it like that okay it would shoot eggs out and then the chickens would fall down so it's actually pretty easy survival that's what it's called <laughs> so that's how you do it so instead of having the dispenser there you'd have to push it one back and just have the hole and it would shoot down like that okay and that's it so the game's ready so you activate it and you'll see the chickens start to come down and you could shoot okay and like I said you could just set up a little timer up to you know just decide on the time and then when it's done you just come to your chest and see so this guy has three chickens and this guy's two so this one wins yay and that's it just a fun little game and uh, you know like I said you could just keep adding more and you would do the same thing so all you'd have to do is just keep putting repeaters here okay so you would just break that obviously because we'd have to we'd have to have it down again like that put a repeater and then do the same thing here so n the only one that has to be elevated is this one the rest of them are all like this just copy this exact row copy this exact row right here all the way down all right and that's it that's how you extend it all right hope you found this fun if you made it this far uh let me know let me know in the comments if you build it if you play with anybody how you modified it like i said you can you don't need any repeaters under here technically you can also go higher uh, if you're gonna go higher than this i suggest you go uh one two three higher so that way because you want to make sure that this top one is always on so it just goes high enough to go high enough to make sure that this top uh torch is on okay so i just suggest you go three more but it's up to you you can go three more you can go even higher all right so that's gonna do it for me until next time captain up is out peace